Okay, we're on the Alder 2. Uh, I've just installed a holding tank and electric flush toilet, um, although I haven't bolted the toilet down yet. Um, and here's what I did. I, uh, I've run the intake through hole through here. It comes up into the toilet and then it goes, so the flushing is done through this and then the uh, exhaust goes to the back, so the holding tank. So we've got a holding tank here. Yeah, I get, better get a better light, I guess. And so the idea is you flush the toilet, it always goes into the holding tank. And then when you're uh, out in deep water somewhere, um, it gets macerated a second time as it gets exhausted out to the outside. I've got a through hole up here that was, this was all for a fuel tank before. I've got a through hole up here, or through deck fitting, and a fitting on the top of the tank here. So at some point, we'll be able to pump it out at a marina. I just have to put a hose in to connect those two there. Uh, lots of vented looping going on and, and looping for bilge pumps. There's two bilge pump hoses running through there as well. Built uh, a little junction box here and a little pump out box here. And... Uh, Thought I had it all working, and then I found out that uh, I wasn't really bringing water in um, through this pipe here. So uh, I take a look outside. We find the reason why. Now with that fuel tank taken out of one side, it was 500 pounds of tank plus whatever what fuel you had in it. The boat came; it lifts over to one side a little bit. And so there's my built to bilge pump um, exhaust. And that is supposed to be below water, and it's not. Um, so my solution, I think, is going to be um, do a Y valve, because there's a, a through hole underneath all of this that's the exhaust for the holding tank. And uh, I'll do a Y valve and share it for two purposes as an intake for the toilet to move waste to the holding tank. And then when I empty the holding tank, if I do it out in the water, I can turn the Y-valve and have it use the same fitting. 